Phil, tell us about this car right here. Um, it is my old co-worker's RSX. It is definitely a base model RSX. Oh. Yeah. Um, he's just, it's been sitting for a while. Kind of just doesn't have time for it. Offered it at a great price. Mm. But he really so. doesn't want the fucking rear wheels come off. Apparently the wheels have been... He really likes his lug nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing we're not allowed to have is the wheels and the lug nuts. How so, strange. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. I guess the initial plan is to just another... Something to have fun with. Another fun side it's project? Fun another fun side project for no real reason. Yeah. yeah. No, this is a very good reason. Yeah, okay. If, if, for Br Yeah. I haven't had a car to drive in like three years. The, the reason is for you thought to flip it over. Yeah, he, <laughs> he wants to do some driving. So. Yeah. Yeah, really just yeah, a car to actually get some seat time in. So what's the plan for the car? I mean, that's... We're that's, gonna put some wheels on it right now. Yeah, put some wheels on it. Pretty much everything you see is for sale, so... Yeah, because we're gonna strip the car down? Pretty much, yeah, like exterior-wise and... We're gonna switch back to a Zanke front. Yeah. Is... Did you buy a Zanke front or did you already have yours? Um, I still have mine, but... I think it's just the stuff in my new is like, I feel like stuff is so cheap. Yeah. So it's, uh, we definitely just made that song, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just like a fun, low budget side project. Yeah, I mean, budget wise, I can't see, after selling everything off of it, I can't see even like more than like a thousand dollars in it after the car's done. Nice. Outside of wheels, outside of wheels, but yeah. So the challenge is to build this car it's like a, under a thousand dollar budget. A thousand dollar challenge, <laughs> Ethan. No, I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Oh yeah. <laughs> you that, there's no challenge. A thousand dollar challenge. Uh, the challenge is to, I guess, I don't know, enjoy life for once? Yeah. That's, you should mm. probably start doing that a little bit. In a DC5. I, not, I want to. <laughs> if it's okay with her free. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's why you came back to SoCal, right? And then, uh... You got hit with quarantine. In a Zenki DC5. So tight. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, we, we use a barn key. You <laughs> trying, trying to be proper. You wasn't trying to do it. Oh, that is close. Mm. That's close to something. What is that? Is that the spring perch? Yeah, it's a 1025, so it's pretty connected, but. Yeah. That's pretty close. Yeah. It was supposed to be a lot cheaper, but man, I got like tacked like every, every yeah. step of the way. New yeah. product alert. Oh, you're talking about lug like, nuts? Yeah. <laughs> They come in little Coke baggies. It's the new Battlecraft Hyper Race Nut, so you can get your nut on. I was gonna call it, why don't we oh. call it the Hyper Nut? Oh, you just wanna call it the Hyper Nut? But I mean, you it's already called it the Hyper Race Nut. It. <laughs> just give it a twist. I'm trying with the gloves. <laughs> this like, extra secure. Just a, yeah, just a Hyper Nut? Yeah, we can. It's a 17 millimeter head, a grade five titanium. Uh, it's designed to be as short as possible while still being safe. So this is a 20 millimeters of uh, thread engagement. Mm -hmm. Plus have a 60 degree like standard, but it's wider mm. to have like maximum contact patch and whatever, maximum you know. seating. So it's trying to be very racing. But so far from what I've seen, I think it's the lightest on the market at 14 grams. Yes. Like 13.7 grams or something. Nice. The titaniums. And right now it's only available in raw titanium because that purple blue shit is fucking ricer as fuck. Yeah, we don't want that shit. Race cars don't have that shit, so. How much are these lug nuts? Uh, 50 bucks? 50 for, bucks for four. For four. Because it was really confusing to get the, uh, 
to make the part numbers and the thing to offer 16, 16 and 20 lug sets. Mm. If I sell 20 lug sets only, then like the, the then, guys that are four lug will be spending an extra 50 bucks to have lug nuts just yeah, sit on the Yeah, that makes sense thing, just you know? to sell them for. Yeah, so, but yeah. Those people that have been, so I, they all sold out. Those, yeah, remember, yeah. Uh, some available. Um, but they all sold out. But there's a lot of people that ordered singles oh, on yeah, accident. But there was also people like <laughs> I messaged them, and they're like, "Oh no, I know. I only wanted to order one bag as like a collector item." Oh, and I was like, "Cause they're all engraved and stuff." I guess yeah. they're just like really stoked on you know um, battlecraft stuff, which is really cool. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, they wanted to collect it just because it's like a cool thing. That's cool. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, and then we're making a longer version too for the, you know, some wheels look better with long ones. Some, you know, these ones are more specifically, they look better on wheels with like deep hubs mm -hmm. and with extended studs. So aesthetically, it's very important too, you know? Yeah. Of course, if you're going for the, as light as possible, like on, you know, like a mirror and stuff, it's very, you know, they're really about cutting weight. Yeah. So every little, every ounce counts for, for people like Amir and you know every ounce counts yeah that's what you should put on the box <laughs> you should that's a good idea look at that we're marketing right yeah. now <laughs> marketing man does everybody even know that you're the other half of battlecraft now no <laughs> <laughs> maybe, all the arrow maybe they won't maybe they won't buy stuff if they find out <laughs> <laughs> final piece of the puzzle right here the rear bumper Came in from Japan not too long ago. And here it is, all unwrapped. It's this rear lip for the IS wagons or the Alteza Gitas because everything makes such a huge difference. It's OEM lip. That's also painted it and everything. Oh, that's that one! Even though the old car is going to be painted again. So today, we're going to throw this new rear bumper that I got on the car. Sight unseen, because Utah's never taken this apart before. Should be alright. Where's the music coming from? <laughs> is my car playing music? Yeah, your car is definitely playing music. Why, yeah. is it off? I didn't hook it up. Oh well. Let's get the Bluetooth Maybe thing. It's not even work. <laughs> Yeah, this rear bumper is a Japanese rear bumper, a JDM rear bumper as people like to call it. It has an OEM optional rear lip, which is the main thing that I wanted. But when we acquired the bumper, I mean when we found the lip, it was just way cheaper to get the entire bumper all in one piece. So Yasu ordered it up, or he, he bid on it on Yahoo Auctions and then went and fixed everything and painted it. So it's ready to go on the car. Even though the car's not painted itself. Hmm. His rear lip is interesting. It's like riveted on to the bumper. It's OEM though, right? Yeah, the brackets are riveted on. So that's definitely not something that Yasu did. I guess. So you know like these like annoying things? There's just like pins that kind of just like centipede their way into your shit? Yeah. Recently I used to start using one of these. Take them out? Yeah, and You're it's just like super useful. Just like hook it here, mm -hmm. get it around, and just like lift it. It actually works really well. I don't know why it took me like 30 years to figure yeah, that out. Without breaking any of them? Yeah. Yeah. I usually just prime them and then I'm gonna all bent on the top part. Yeah, because the top part just falls off. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Pretty excited because I'm not gonna have these stupid side marker things on there anymore, which is gonna be nice. I just found out that my wheels were coming in tomorrow too. Which way does this come out? What? Because there, there was actually four studs on this one. Uh, oh yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's four? Yeah, there's okay. four. You can see right there. Cool, then that's good. So we also got these coils. Because the ones on your car right now are probably the original ones. Yeah, the factory coils 
they like tend to go bad on these more often, right? Yeah, I think it's like a common thing. Yeah, for two J's. So Ignition Projects was kind enough to give us a set of these coils. It comes with the igniter. This is the igniter. Yeah, it's a wood igniter and three coils. Oh, or okay. rather, well, you know, a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went and got new wires for it too from Toyota. So hopefully the car will run better. Some good looking coils. It definitely do have like an aesthetic factor yeah. to it. Aesthetic factor to the engine bay that nobody's gonna see? Yeah. Well, there are, it comes down to the also, right? Yeah. Utah also got me this carbon 2J engine cover thing that I doubt will fit on any 2Js. <laughs> I think it'll... It looks like a 2J, but I don't know if it's gonna fit on an NA 2J, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll find out. Yeah, so we can cover it up with the intake manifold and then... <laughs> yeah, the ugly ass intake manifold. <laughs> no, put this later. Just do like Noel and get a hyper tune. Yeah, just get a hyper tune manifold. Just have to go fucking standalone just for an intake manifold? Yeah, just to make the... In just, just because you can see it through the vents of the hood now. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, pretty excited about this car. Maybe once the wheels come in tomorrow, we can test fit the wheels and see how that goes. That's tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Okay. You said around 2 o'clock, so... Okay. So it goes. Exciting times. Because there's four studs and then two bolts at each end and then a bunch of clips, right? <laughs> that's what I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that thing came off pretty easily. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Yeah. They really simplify things as you get older. <laughs> <laughs> totally get this bumper off without like raising the car up and it's like lower. Yeah, sick. Shit, you could have got like any old rear bumper from anywhere. Just find a car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully everything's the same in terms of reinforcement bar. It looks the same, dude. Yeah, I mean if not, it's not even difficult to modify. We we'll just cut the shit out of it's it. Not fucking, it's not a fucking connecting rod. Yeah. It's a fucking thing. It's a, you, right? it's a crash bar, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one's actually intact. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Whoa, what is this stuff? Holy crap. Oh, your side markers are actually connected. What are these things? <laughs> what are these what? Are they eggs? Oh, those are definitely uh, brown recluse eggs. Ew. Yeah, look, there's one right there. There's spider eggs everywhere. Yeah. You can see oh, the sick. carcass of the yeah. last meal that I had. Um, uh, yeah. That's a hatch right now. Yeah, I would be upset. Oh, fuck, fuck, look at that <laughs> shit. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck. Yeah, so as it turns out, Utah has an incredible fear of spiders. I fucking hate spiders. And now we don't know where the spider went, so we've just been hosing down the inside of the car. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, hopefully. We're like three steps. I'm pretty sure it's dead, dude. Dude, no. They don't die that easily. Not after you drowned it with water and acetone? I mean, even the eggs are gone now. Who knows where the eggs... What if it, what if it went this way? Huh? What if it went this way since the water flow is going this way? Well, please make sure it doesn't go in... Ah, whatever. If I catch it in there, dude... At least, I don't know, at least I can set it on fire or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got so, it. The actual purpose of the acetone is because it's flammable. Huh. Yeah. It actually, it actually is like, it's like, because it's like spray paint, but it like looks a little bit better because you can like control it. Yeah, yeah. I would have just stepped on it, but I mean. Yeah, but you never know. <laughs> because like, you, they might have eggs and stuff, you know? Yeah. No, no, I'm just trying to line it up so it's like, you can't. Installed.
Mm. Yeah, it changes the whole look of the car. Hope to have a big rear lip. <laughs> so the outside is now pretty complete. Just have a elixir rear wing we haven't put on yet, but I don't want to put it on because it's white. So I'll probably just send it off to the body shop to get painted before I put the wing on. And then uh, this is how it's going to look. We have the model Lisa Ball top front bumper, TRD sides, got a Zero Auto factory hood, elixir rear wing as I stated, and uh, we have a rear bumper with a OEM optional rear lip. I think it's coming together pretty well. Just need some paint and uh, wheels. Just come in tomorrow. And then we're going to lower the car some more to, since we realize now with these bumpers and sides that we have a lot of room to play with. So we can definitely get the car a lot lower. Oh, also be free mirrors too. Forgot to mention those. It's a busy day out here lately. So much stuff going on with the cars. My wheels came in today. Pretty happy about this. Yokohama Advan wheels. The one is IS. And it's all good to go with paint and everything. Put the rear lip on yesterday, thanks to Utah. And uh, pretty excited, the car's getting there. Definitely making more progress than I anticipated. Oops. Never bought a brand new set of Yokohama Advent wheels before, so kind of interested to see what it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Typical wheel maintenance stuff. And uh, here we go. This is a 18 nine and a half 45. I didn't want to go too aggressive for this car. This is a racing red color, which I thought would be interesting on the IS. Really wanted to try something different this time around with this car. And uh, never really owned brand new red wheels before. At first I really wanted to go like a real traditional route with like a Advan Model 5 or something, or something more period correct, I guess you can say, from the early 2000s, but Man, Model 5s are just so hard to find these days, and uh, it's like weighing the cost. Like, if I can get new wheels at a price that I felt was affordable and that I wanted to pay, why not get new wheels, right? So instead of like digging around Yahoo Auctions and all these different sites to find something that's, uh, that's used and in like who knows what kind of condition they're really in, you know, because photos, photos are never real, really honest and realistic, so. Then why not get new wheels? So here we are. And uh, I hope this works. If it doesn't work, and like if it doesn't look good, then I guess we can always uh, switch wheels. But I have a pretty good feeling that they're gonna look good. So here's hoping. Okay, so we gotta put these TC4 stickers onto the wheel. And it looks like you line up the end of the four to the edge of the inside barrel. And we got the placement right because you have know, valve stem, the sticker. This is how this like Advan and Ray's wheels are, where the valve stem is very much the center of the wheel. So I think I have this lined up. I'm gonna try to put it on now. Hopefully it goes on straight because we only got one shot at this. Looks like it's straight. Right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Looks good. Alright. Straight, no air vocals. Looks good. Not bad for the first time. Definitely adds to the wheel. Good morning, everybody. Um, happy to say that Chronicles and Coffee is back. So, uh, we're going to try to do our first meet of 2020 and see how it goes. It's going to be uh, one of those things where mask and facial coverings are, are strictly enforced and uh, hopefully people will maintain social distancing and uh, we have a good meet today. Hopefully, we get some good cars and whatnot and uh, kind of try to get that old feeling back I guess right in this new world of ours so we shall see how it goes these are really good feeling stickers man this is some quality stuff right here yeah you're not just saying it because he's standing right there no yeah, yeah this is I mean it's a five hundred thousand dollar sticker machine or press what is it for press yeah like how does that work it's like a, I don't know how it's a screen printing because it's a screen print not like a regular digital printer right yeah And now it's being documented that I put it on crooked. Mm, yeah, it needs to go higher. Ah, yeah, come shit. on! <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a hundred of these? Yeah, dude. Everyone's gonna get it all crooked and shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Otherwise, like everyone's gonna fuck it up. What is a club edition sticker? I mean, edition T37. Uh, special release wheel that uh, Volt uh, worked with us on with Battlecraft and our compound. So we're, we took a lot of uh, the old school colors. So this specific, these two colors aren't available in the SL model. And uh, Christian, expand on it. <laughs> Too early for me. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. We just these are these two co these are two of the, my favorite uh, Volk colors, and they never came in the SL. So we decided to uh, ask them to do a limited run of these um, mm -hmm. for us, and it made it kind of our own thing. But this one is simple, where it's like a really it's a titanium silver. Mm -hmm. We finish it off with the black stickers to give it like a clean, nice street look. Mm -hmm. But this one. Is a titanium gunmetal from so like JGTC cars back in the day, the most famous color is the gunmetal wheels like the ART NSX, mm -hmm. and so we did this one as a special tribute to the old JGTC and Super GT cars with the same color with like the Mag Forge thing. Mm -hmm. You actually did this logo. Yeah. Jackson did the stickers. <laughs> Thanks. And we're here. All right. Yeah. We're hurry. Okay, a lot of people waiting time. outside. Yes. Did you see the the side sheet? No, what's back sheet? Oh, oh okay. There we go. Fancy. This is why you're tired because you just spent all night making all night. one label. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really glad that uh, Mandy's good at this reader. Yeah. She's not patient. She's like, they always go adjusting, so she's like, is that patience? That's the sound of patience. <laughs> this feels illegal. There's already too many people here. Yeah, dude. Now we know that we we can only promote these things like one day in advance. We can't keep posting it like a week long. Like, I mean, it just started like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I started letting people in like 15 minutes ago. I mean, uh, 15 minutes early. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna run out of space. At least it's gonna be gloomy all day. Yeah. Hello. It's funny when, when you, you he's like in a group of friends where everyone has DAs, but every time they all DA together, he brings his NSX. <laughs> when they DA together? Yeah. <laughs> So cramped here that I can't 
show you guys everything. You look like you're gonna go get some mail, dude. I am. Come on, good day. What is happening? I'm just driving around, but we can't even drive anywhere. <laughs> no, you won't fit down there. No, it's not. Sure, not that way. Maybe that way, but. Use your mirrors. Whoops. Fun exceed lift or yeah. And a sex, you're gonna have ten. John's ITR. I never got that seven. <laughs> Side, there's a red seat in there. Hmm. You have one that's been painted yellow. Shoes like Yar, of course. This oh. case swapped spoon styled shit. Front end. This is a JDM front end. So this is like, I guess the plate is different. Huh? Yeah, why does the cow look different? JDM front end? I heard that a lot of work had to be done to make the JDM front end. Oh, so this is a jazz front. Yeah. Where's the owner at? Right here. Oh. What's up? Can we see the engine bay, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this magically appeared. <laughs> I saw you guys talking shit on my... Oh, yeah, we're trying to figure out why it doesn't fit. <laughs> is it, it... The hood is different than on JDM than... Uh, yeah, like the cowl and the window is different, too, on the US. Oh, I, I bought the J JDM one, mm -hmm. but it, does, it doesn't even close to fitting the US, the US windshield. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, it's like crammed in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, you check the oil from inside the car. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Through the dashboard? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, wow, so you had to cut this whole section out, huh? Oh, yeah, it was a ton of... Wow. I think from the windshield for like the US and JDM cars are completely different. Oh. Huh. But it's like a foot, like a foot shorter. What? Oh, really? The, the US to the JDM one is a foot shorter in the front, and like six inches in the rear. Probably for like crash safety and stuff. Yeah, huh? yeah, the US, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. But it's funny because the spoon bumper. They copied the U.S. front end. Oh, really? Yeah. If you look at the U.S. front end, it looks like a U.S. front end. Oh. Hmm. Did you have to change the, uh, the radiator support too? Yeah. You can see it, like how much hmm? I cut out and things just did. Like, yeah, well, I had to cut the whole section out to clear the man. And then if you look right here, like, <laughs> so this is the U.S. frame rail, right? And hmm. here's the Japanese one. Uh, and it doesn't even, so like. Oh, shit. Okay. So, so it's like a lot more work than just doing like a yeah. Yeah. Tiger. <laughs> yeah, maybe just unbolted and JDM front end. Yeah. I guess if you really want this front end, you gotta go through all that work, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh shit. Can I open this? Thank you. It smells really nice in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what roll bar is this? Oh, you made it? It's crazy how tall it has to be. Yeah, I was just looking at the EG and this looks like a foot taller than the Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, usually, you know, you sit in a bucket and it's like, mm -hmm. I think I got about a foot above my Yeah. Get rid of the helmet. Huh? I would. Yeah, it'll be nice to be Well, then the seat, like, seats you really a lot lower too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Are you running a Infinity? Yes, I have. Mm. <laughs> Big Steve from Falcon, Falcon Tires Civic. It's a weekend track car. Like a lagoon second blue or no? <laughs> LSB? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the clutter was great, but we threw away a lot of stuff there. Hmm. Yeah. Car over here. Yeah. 
I mean, this whole car is Scream's character. So. Yeah, it, baby. <laughs> it's very you. Oh, yeah. This is all the dust from Grange, huh? Yes, sir. I came in pretty hot and flew off track pretty fast. So it just like sucked it all into here? I've got all kinds of sand in nah, here. Dude. It died, it died. <laughs> It died. It sucked it in when I started it back up to get off though. Yeah. But everything ran well though, right? Yeah, it was perfect, man. The car no, ran really good. We had that hiccup <laughs> issue at the last event where it would what sputter when I would initiate into a turn, but then it turns out that was the ECU. It was still thinking that I was at full throttle when I wasn't. So it cut it all the way down. But we fixed it and it drove like a fucking champ all day. And you drove all the way home, right? Or your trailer? The trailer did, yeah. But I just drove home from fucking Eastvale. Just sick. There wouldn't be a sticker on it, but you know. You just broke it, so you just made something? No, I just didn't have any. I had oh. Zeki. Headlights. Oh, this is like a fiberglass replacement. Yeah, yeah. It's just a replacement. So sick. Um, I had Zenki lights before, but I really like these are Koki lights, and I really oh. like the eyelids on them. So oh. those are like Koki oh, fiberglasses. No, oh, so Koki have natural eyelid on it? Yeah, yeah, it's an OEM eyelid. Damn. Goddamn, boy. I'm trying to hitch a ride. It's a duck trap, dude. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I like how Christian was like holding off her dear life for the handle. If you jump off that thing wrong, he's gonna tear your fucking off. I told you. Hold on to the handle, Christian. I don't wanna die. Well, that was a pretty crazy meet. Got a little crazy because uh, didn't expect any people to come, but I'm glad it all worked out and there was no drama or anything and everybody was being safe and wearing masks and stuff. It seemed like everybody had a good time, so it's nice to just kind of be in this private space now where it seemed like so much chaos was going on earlier, so many people in cars here. But it was a good turnout. I'm happy with it. I mean, overall, I think Dwayne and all those guys are happy with how everything went too. Now I can kind of enjoy my own cars at the meet, I guess. Even Utah went home to sleep because stayed up all night again working on stuff. Finally brought my Q45 out. Washed it, drove it around for a little bit, and uh, just kind of enjoying the car again after letting it sit for two years, you know? definitely just been one of those cars where I just like to hold on to it but don't drive it as much as I should and of course the first night I took it out I like clipped my bumper on the driveway and it ended up cracking my entire bumper you guys can see the spider cracks here but this is gonna have to be repainted I just wasn't high enough I didn't air high enough to get out of the driveway here at the complex and the driveway can be pretty steep over here if you don't take the right angle you know but yeah overall it's not that obvious i guess so i'll just keep driving around for a while since the car is already out and about instead of being crammed inside the shop glad that after all these years this car still looks very current i guess it flows well <laughs> 